Brushing, washing, chiseling, placing, building our natural stone stairs and castle wall by hand proves to be a difficult project, but the laughter and literal gems we find along the way make it all worth it. This is harder than it, than it looks. Rome wasn't built in a day, neither was our staircase. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. If you're new around here, we're Brittany and Drew, two hopeful adventurers who got married and after eight years of van life, found our dream property and moved across the globe to Portugal, where we're now documenting the journey of transforming this historic water mill into our very first home, not on wheels. Now, let's take in a deep breath. and let it out. Let the adventure begin. How the fun stuff's happening now. Okay, now I'm gonna make a little one and then we stretch it to all sides. It's really good right now that we're resealing this corner of the house because we don't want moisture to enter the upper bedroom space. And when we had been in here before, digging, clearing out the material way before these guys came to do this project with me, with the excavator, we'd kind of clipped a little bit of the tar paper. And so it left some scratches vulnerable for the water to get through. So we're just taking precaution, making sure it's done right and taking out the old tar paper and replacing it with the new. And never do this because otherwise yeah. you take all the yeah. stuff away. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you let it down now. Yeah. Like this. Okay? Yep. Should have brought our marshmallows. <laughs> I just smell my hair. <laughs> <laughs> no wrinkles? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, and you always have to actually need to be on this mm -hmm. side somehow. Is it okay? Yeah. Beautiful. So stairs top view, as we want to use up all the stones, we're going to make one layer completely going through and then set the next layer of stones on top. Everything is going to be like woven into each other, but you want to get rid of the pile. That's we're just going to save the concrete and, and this use time stones and just, in here. just do everything out of stone okay. because those are fucking solid ass. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to use the huge ones okay. in the very back. And then I'm gonna, with mud and little okay. chips and stuff, try to get them all up. Because you want to have a nice kind of flat surface yeah, to yeah. walk on, Perfect so you don't have any nipples where you can fall yeah. and stuff. Well, that's actually the question, like, what's the style of the stepless? Everything has to be perfect flush, because that takes a lot of time. No, it doesn't have to be perfect. Or it's like little heel bumps and... Nah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah. Nah. It looks nicer, in my opinion, if everything is not flat. So let's say in miniature, huh? those are okay. four steps. So now we would build a frame, bam, bam, bam. And then if you want to have it perfectly flat, we would try to find only pieces like this. They're all different sizes. That's sit why on it's the top. Kind of, they would sit on the top and then just go around. Okay. It's a question. We can make those stairs in two days, smash it, or we can take two weeks. Yeah, and then uh, Because let's say it's round, so yeah, we'll take yeah. the hammer and chip this off. So. We try to make the joints kind of equal and nice. Or the finish is gonna be much rougher, you know, one is like this, the next one is a bit oh. like this, the next one is a bit like that, blah, blah, blah. But then you don't have a flat surface. Looks nice, but, yeah, but yeah. Then you always have to be careful when you walk. What do you think about like the quality of what this is? Do you wanna have it filled in like this? So you have like mud everywhere, no, 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 no. Or one stone goes like this, but the next one would not fit in there, but we find one that is almost fitting, but then we chip it a little mm -hmm. bit. So the joint you're gonna have is pretty perfect. Just like three times as um, yeah. more work. I'm for like a roughish look, 
but just as long as the top is like fairly smooth yep. and we can fill in spots with render or take like a small you know a small rock what about because look at we that just artwork figured. <laughs> somebody's gonna come along and make a tattoo out of it like you were telling me so yeah, maybe i do that looks sweet on the shoulder tattoo it like hey please on, uh, uh, on uh. <laughs> whether discussing fun and creative locations for tattoo designs or logical and artful approaches to our stone steps since moving to our historical water mill we've also found ourselves intrigued with exploring more of our family history. Being first generation born American on my dad's side who immigrated from France with my aunt and grandparents in the 70s and so far what we know about Drew is that he has roots stretching back to Italy and Hungary and so we want to thank My Heritage for partnering with us on today's episode. My Heritage makes it easier than ever to explore your family history and today Drew and I will be taking their DNA test kit. Takes about two minutes. It's a simple cheek swab. Whoa! You're up, mister. In addition to DNA testing, MyHeritage also offers a platform that makes it so easy to build your family tree. Plus, you can also do things like enhance old family photos, and you can even animate them, which is what we can do while we wait for our tests to come back. Our DNA results are finally here, and I am so excited to see- We are so excited. Yeah, we. But we're going to look at mine first. This map is so fascinating. Wow. It looks like I have 72% English in my blood, Italian, Balkan, Scandinavian. What about France? It's connecting you more to Britain in that sense. I suppose. That's why it's including all the English at 72%. Wow. You're like pretty much entirely European. DNA matches. Do you I... recognize who these are? No. Very interesting. It's my turn. Whoa. Whoa very different. Irish, Scottish. Well, I knew there was all that Hungarian, which is pretty close to the Balkans. This is fascinating. A little this bit one... of Asia? Whoa! You are very global. Whoa. Well, I think it's safe to say we are both very surprised with the results. It's fascinating to learn more about our family's history. And if you guys want to learn more about yours as well, using the QR code on the screen or our link below and the code ADVENTURE, you can get free shipping on your DNA test kit plus a 30-day free trial of My Heritage's best subscription. Can you imagine what our kids could be if we had kids? That tree would just keep growing. Now back to the episode. <laughs> if you guys haven't discovered, today we are building the staircase to the whole back hidden patio, and we're gonna be cleaning a ton of rocks. That is one of the big challenges in making sure that they hold with the render concrete mix that we're gonna be making to just keep them held in properly but the idea is that the whole front of the wall that we had built here in front of the annex or the pig pen and then going continuing on to the steps is a natural look this is going to take quite a bit of time to do and we're going to do it right we're going to do it one time it's going to look beautiful when we're done this looks like a very exciting moment down here guys steps are coming together nice and even level going across there or more or less huh yeah yeah that's what i meant <laughs> look at this the chosen one. Look at this. So you guys can probably guess that is the stone that will go right on top of this mud, this mortar right here. Is that what we're calling this? Mortar? Mud? Mortar. 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 We call it muck. Bucket of muck. A bucket of muck. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we wet it? Mm, because otherwise you always have a little uh, dust uh, layer on top. It doesn't give it like a good... And then it would actually separate okay. the stone from, to... from the thing. And once you make it wet, it just becomes one. Okay. So it's so clean you... it, wet it, stick it. Yeah. Everything, every stone work has always to be done wet. So we picked a very chosen rock here because it's just a tedious job to be able to get the perfect rock that fits into like between the other ones to make it just look nice. And we're picking everyone with purpose. So the goal in this stage is to get the front face 
looking as nice as possible. So you can see right here, we're just really careful about this outer wall while making sure the top is level. It doesn't really matter on the inside what it's like because we're gonna backfill it with some other stones. So the idea is to use granite on the outskirts, the perimeter of each step, and then fill it from the top using schist style stones, which are a bit more malleable or you're able to break those because they're more of like a slate type rock. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes like Flintstones <laughs> and then the earth will probably go up to here so yeah it's really oh. that natural look we're going for oh my gosh you know what we can do next is the steps that go down to the stream right now it's just like everyone sort of is in the danger zone whenever <laughs> anyone comes over they like start slipping I know I know they look at it with fear be careful going down our tricky. steep ravine we yeah. need to build a staircase here yeah. nice work so where are your boots <laughs> until we make more steps like this. You know what we're saving for you? Each row here, that is like the scallop of the step and then the next section, then the section above and so on. So we're gonna take basically these kinds of rocks okay. and we're gonna cut and use small pieces, like chisel them apart Amazing. and fill in the inside. So we're gonna have granite on the outside, schist on the inside, granite, schist, all the way up. My hand is injured. I burnt it and circulation issues. Yeah, that's... <laughs> it looks worse on camera. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look, my nails look nice. It's the first time you've painted your nails in <sighs> I know. centuries. It felt so pretty and then so burned. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a really funny horn right now? A little beeper as it's coming back. Well, today guys, this is the final delivery we need to finish the retaining wall and hidden patio project. So exciting. There is just so much going on around here today. If he could have just dumped it a little more over, it'd give us a lot less work to do. Yeah, but it would have, everything would have ended up behind the nipple foil. That'd be a big problem. You're taking a nap, Flashy. Good boy, Flashy. We got the final piece of the pipe in place. We're back playing with the nipple foil again. Did you show him the kitty feet that were in the cement here? <laughs> <laughs> we got Terry the stonemason today. So what's the goal here? Hit the crack, yeah. snap the rock? Well, try and stay in the same thickness all the way around. And by the time you get around, it should shatter down that line. So we're trying to select our thickness. This is the lumpy side. Oh yeah! There goes our beam for our door and our closet. On this particular day, we had three different crews on site. To say we were overwhelmed is an understatement, but we're not complaining. Things are happening and we are happy. There's a lot to look forward to in the coming episodes. That's cracked already now. Yeah. Wow. You like freeze the edges with this one? with this one, equalize it with this one. So like triple brush action, just like brushing your teeth. Yeah, <laughs> but if you do this, like you can also not do it, but then it's gonna look like this. And I think yeah, this taking looks way this nicer. looks way nicer. Yeah. Because now you have this 3D yeah, yeah. effect now. It makes the stone pop that much more. Yep. So right now we're doing all the framework for the steps that later on we'll get filling later this week. And you can see everything's coming together. We're up almost to the fourth step. And as we build on top of this, we're gonna use some really big boulders and then backfill it with the gravel and then rebuild this whole section over here so that it's flush with this. It's looking real good. Look at those beauties. Watch your eyes, huh? Yeah, yeah.
One perk of having multiple teams on site was that we could use the muscles of our extremely strong Ukrainian roofers and now house builders to help our boys move the largest of the boulders to the very top step. That is a monster rock. <laughs> For reference, that's the size of my hand, so you can imagine how heavy this rock is. You getting it ready for the barbecue? Which one? You getting it ready for the barbecue? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another layer of mortar, some rocks for leveling and filling, more mortar, enough to help raise the level of the boulder so that the top of the step is level. A little heave ho to get the rock in its place, plus some wiggles and taps to make sure that it's nice and sturdy in its new home. And voila! Nice! Nice! That's beautiful with the three big stones on top. Time for another round of finishing touches on these granite stones. Cool. In fact, they're all perfectly level now. These two rocks are spooning. These two got a nice little nook uh, angled slant right between them. All right, let's not touch this one. And how's it going in here? I'm just spreading some aloe vera that Andy brought for my swollen fingers. But um, I didn't know this, but apparently you have to like soak aloe to detoxify it. And he soaked this in water like that for 24 hours. The water turned red and now it's safe to use. He does a double soak and the second time, if there's no red that comes out, then he knows that he did it long enough. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. And that's gotta be nice and soothing. Are you blending the aloe too and eating it? Yes. Put some in my green goddess smoothie that has lots of spinach and healthy fats for hormone balancing. Oh, that's great. And ta-da! Wow! Your lunch is ready. Amazing. I knew you'd come back hungry. Good morning! Good morning, bom dia! Today we're going to be finishing off the top bits, creating a beautiful little puzzle. It's going to be a nice contrast from the gray granite going along the perimeter of each step. And we're going to fill in these sections. Master Builder Andy is here. Hello. Have no fear. <laughs> we have our puzzle pieces in place. They've been meticulously chiseled and they're about yay thick so we can get working on this project and get them put in place. We prepared all of them by splitting them and we want a thickness of at least four or five centimeters because we're only going to lay them in mud and then we grout them afterwards. If they would be smaller, um, it's quite difficult to grout. Well, not difficult, but it wouldn't withstand all the forces that's why the thicker the better and now we cleaned them so all the sides they don't have any mud or dust or anything so the mud and the grouting sticks to it perfectly and now we're going to take those puzzle pieces and puzzle everything dry first to see what the picture is going to look like okay. then we make a picture yep. put them on the side fill in with mud put them in place but first we have to wet them okay i don't know this is harder than it, than it looks Both would fit probably nicely in there Ooh. Something like this. Large, actually. Yeah. Is this the official Moino quarry? <laughs> and then we can see on the sides how they grow. So you can see all those layers. So that means the grain of the stone goes this way. So we want to split it this way so it breaks even into nice pieces. Not too hard because otherwise it breaks uncontrolled. And now you just follow this line. And now we go all the way around the rock. So you're scoring it basically, like making a perforation. Yep, perforation. This is what the, the word I was looking for. And now mm, boom. a nice piece. Wow. If it breaks too quick, we're not gonna use them because that means they're too weak. Okay. And we always try to get the most out of one rock. So now we know this one is strong enough. Now we make another two pieces out of this one. Because what Schisto is, or Schist, is actually ancient seafloor. This is what it was. 
and then by tectonic um, movement it yep. got pushed up but this is sea floor from like I don't know how many million years ago so now I perforated it all the way around and now I give it one hard hit or two or three so this one is too thin it's only two centimeters and we want at least four or five this one has five perfect so another puzzle piece The darker they are, the denser they are, the less likely they are to shear. Like when you get down to the black, it's solid. But this is the, the iron is what's separating the plates. Okay. They're causing the cracks. We're just going to take a picture of our masterpiece so we remember where they go. Exactly. Don't put them too far away. Okay. Get them up here. Nice, they actually fit in this one as well. <laughs> All right, let's oh, put this one. Yeah, <laughs> actually, <laughs> you really could. Does it fit better? <laughs> they look nice on this row. Okay. Brush every single stone. Let's just dip it in there. Okay. Now we're just gonna pull a little bit. Not too much. Spread it. Everything is nice and wet. And now... Hey, you're stepping on the stones. I'm allowed to. So now we put almost randomly... Careful so we don't splash anything. Let's make it three. We're just gonna spread it like this. Which is this stuff. And now... And now we dip the whole stone. I just did the first three, four, five, okay? Okay. Go to show you. Something like this, huh? So now we already notice we're lower than this one, we want to be a bit higher. And we just do it with mud, we're not putting any little stones no. under these guys. So you can see now it's running down because all the water that comes, we want to always run away. As they say, Rome wasn't built in a day, neither was our staircase. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We're just gonna do this one, and then this one, and this one, and this one, and the back one. And the back one. That's a Brittany trowel if I've ever seen one. You like my little baby trowel? <laughs> there. You know what's crazy, guys? We built that one day, built that another day, another day another day. So just these four layers are four days of work. This is gonna be a really cool extension of what will hold in the gravel in this area. We worked hard yesterday to get a bunch of big stones in place with a nice line. It's an extension of the wall that comes down from the old annex or the old pig pen. We did it. We did it. One row achieved. Nice work team. Oh, I see little raindrops. No, you don't. No, no don't say that. <laughs> Put your glasses back on. You can see sun rays everywhere. <laughs> Three sixty. Nice. Kick flip. <laughs> <laughs> Ready. Just like washing a baby. <laughs> Is that how you wash a baby? <laughs> So now I'm just gonna wet everything, put loads of shit in it, brush it. And I'm very curious what happens with the weather. I know. Otherwise we cover it with a tarp. Otherwise something. we cover it, yeah. Can you give us an anti-rain dance? <laughs> it's just called that dance. The rain doesn't want to fall on me because it will fall on weird moves. <laughs>
They're covered up. I got about halfway on the bottom step. Okay. So a little more progress, but then the rain came, so. I'll make a nice cut to be able to knock that chunk of the wall off. And that way we can put some nice stones there to match our beautiful stairs. You made that look really easy, bro. It is really easy. <laughs> I think this is a nice looking one. The goal is to go through our little rock quarry over here and pick out the best stones that we think will fit in the tops of these steps. So this exceptionally shaped rock was found the other day by one and only Andy and it's a beautiful heart and we're going to see if we can put it right in the middle of the wall we're creating. All of the large rocks that we brought back over here that were originally taken out of this area from the first episode we were working on the castle walls. We're now getting them set up in position to cover up this entire wall we created with block. Yeah, there's a little bit of example. We can get the dirt off in this area, but this rust and this oxidation. Oxiz... Oxidization? That's a tongue twister. <laughs> I think the most difficult word to say in English is squirrel. 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 I can't say that. Squirrel. Can you say... Sam the squirrely squirrel. Sam the squirrely squirrel. Was <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's funny? I think it's the same uh, for English speaking people to say the same word in German, which is Eichhörnchen. I'm just gonna let you do that one. I'm out. <laughs> With all of the granite stones needed for the steps cleaned and polished and in place, it was time for the guys to do the same for the new annex wall. Cleaning off the remaining last stones that we need for the hidden patio steps. So that's the next project. You're just in time so we can go puzzle. You're gonna be the one choosing. Well. In that special one, you just found it. Yeah, I think we just put it in the center and then build around it. Ooh, these go well together. So I am back with a broom and I got to take all the puzzle pieces out, sweep in there, then put them all back in place once we've got some mud and mortar under there.
We were just determining these seemed a little off right here, so we're gonna pry these two that have already hardened from the other day out. And we just make it look magic. <laughs> little added render, and we'll get it put right back in. Oh. Passing the eye level check. Sweet. Two thumbs up. Two. <laughs> got the rest of our mud in our wheelbarrow we're gonna basically fill in all around and make some nice connections between those with the rest of the mud that we have all right we need one tube for an access drainage overflow section of our step area so Andy's chiseling out a little canal we're gonna put that in the top here but it'll just allow any excess water that builds up potentially after some torrential downpours to exit this entire area oh I think that's not so bad and then we just leave a hole here the question is where does this one fit best <laughs> the goal is to find ones like this. I mean, look how perfect that fits in there. It's like it was always meant to be. It was destined. You can understand why this takes so long to use natural stones to build something so beautiful. It's just one of those things that hand laid, hand built, it takes a while. Ooh. That's the one, huh? Yeah, that's nice. Cool. So. Alright, special little stone we're going to put up top here. Feels like a true marker of the staircase. I would like to cut the bottom. So we have a flat placement? Yep. No, oh, it's standing. We don't even need to cut it. Oh, sweet. No, I'm still going to cut it because it holds... Yeah, the, uh, it'll be a lot better. Oh, I missed it. Oh, shit, <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That's a beautiful piece of granite. Mm. So if you have like a nice new cut or broken off piece of a granite, what is this foya lead, by the way, only existing in two places in the world, here and in Brazil. Ooh. And you see like those red little sparkles, that's garnet. And as far as I'm informed, if they have a certain purity, we talk about ruby. Ruby? So you get fucking ruby in your house. 
I'll Shit take it. Loads. That's my birthstone. I want ruby. Yeah, ruby. What is a birthstone? It's the month associated with a stone. Okay. So I think because your birthday's in August, yeah. you're ruby as well. You're rubies. We'll have to double check that. <laughs> All right, let's get the cornerstone set in position and permanently laid. Not some great come back on there. Cool. Nice, perfect. Some little rocks in it, like really tiny yeah, ones, yeah. really thin tiny ones. Maybe one over here. And one there, no? Yeah. Something like that. Pretty straight here. Pretty good. Put the attention to detail here. We have a little drainage hole and then our beautiful stone here. The final touch is the rest of the cement right it's like a cement that goes in the middle of these so that's gonna have to wait till the next episode but these stairs are really coming together good job guys i'm glad i could help with this part this was fun always like including you <laughs> look how cool these turned out